Boxing King Media. Eddie, it's your Boxing King Media debut. We've been trying to get you for a long time. I want to start with Amo Williams. Um, obviously, just before he fought last time, he said quite a few things about you on social media. Did that play into your mind before you decided to also bring him back and continue working with him? No, because I've always had a great relationship with Amo and I felt that like it was so out of character that something's got to be wrong. And, and in his last fight against Dennis Duglin, I just I felt that he wasn't quite himself that week. And you know, when I saw this unfold, I was shocked. But at the same time, there's a reason for it. You know, we've got a great relationship, and this guy's obviously going through something here. And Peter Berg and Churchill Boxing and, and you know us and stood by him, and they got him better. I wasn't sure whether he'd fight again, you know. But it's so good to see him back, and I think it's so important that people, you know, that message, that story is told. Because you look at someone like Ammo Williams, you know, he's a match room fighter. He's fighting all around the world. He's 8-0 or whatever he is, he's carved out of stone, he's so strong. And this disease brought him to his knees. And could have cost him his life, let alone his career. So it's really important that people like that speak up about it and say it's okay to go through that. You've just got to make sure you tell people about it, you know. And, um, you know, I'm really pleased to see him back. Sweet, I'm going to fly through these. So, obviously, everyone's expecting a bidding war for Combosis Jr. Um, what makes you think that you're able to bring his next fight to the zone? compared to the other channels? Um, I think we've got as good a chance as anyone. You know, I think the big argument for us is, is you know, George Cambosis isn't undisputed. He can call himself undisputed. The other governing bodies do not accept the franchise championship as a belt that you can unify with or become undisputed with. So, and I've got massive respect for him. I think he's fantastic. But that's the argument. And the fight with Devin Haney enables him to become undisputed and solves that argument. So we've got to get our checkbook out we got to find the money, and whether that's going to be through a huge crowd in Australia or here in Vegas, and um, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I think it's a great fight, and um, George has told Devin he'll fight him, but the proof will come down to the offers that are generated by everybody. And what's your current uh, promotional deal with uh, Devin Haney? Is it a one fight-by-fight fight deal? Yeah, fight for a while now. So, um, you know, we've got a great relationship with Devin and Bill. Are you at risk and of losing him if, if he does win? Could he I go another really way? I don't really care. Mm -hmm. Not, I don't care about Devin Haney, mm. but at the end of the day, if they're not what you think they are, you know, I have this, I go through a lot of fighters who we have no contract with, right? Carl Froch, uh, Darren Barker, Kel Brook, mm. uh, Tony Bellew, Dillian White. And at the end of the day, if they're gonna fuck you, they're gonna fuck you, mm. right? So, yeah, maybe I should have them under contract, but I believe in Devin Haney, I believe in his dad. And I don't, and I think they love working with us. We're honest, we treat them with respect, we pay them very well, and we have big plans for them. And we're the best at what we do. Okay. So, if you go, you go. And we shake hands and we say, maybe you're not what I thought you were. But when I talk about all those fighters in the past that I just mentioned now, they stay with us. Okay. Because we pay on time, we pay well, and we're honest and we deliver everything we say. And uh, just moving quickly on to Frank Warren mentioned yesterday, apparently talks are now ongoing. Uh, they're apparently planning to make an offer to Anthony Joshua. Do you know anything about that? Is there any update on that? Yeah, I mean, um, we've had uh, their team reach out to us. Um, are we talking seven figures? Seven figures? Uh, talking less? Seven figures? What, uh, a million? Yeah, I don't, I don't For know. For what? Just uh, paying AJ to step aside. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 if you want to get him to not fight Alexander Usyk, you better times that by about 40. But, I mean, okay. we'll see. I, I don't think... At the moment, mm. there's there's communication between the two teams okay. to say, is it something that you... And the answer is, you know, AJ's not been spoken about this yet. I'll deal with it. And when I feel that there's an opportunity for Anthony and 258, we'll sit down with them and I'll present that to them. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to do that until I feel like it's the right opportunity because he's not going to be happy because he just wants to fight Alexander Usyk. Do you know what I mean? But if there's a, there's a route and there's an offer and it makes sense and, you know... We'll see, but right now, you know, just conversations between the camps. Does this leave Dillian White in a complete limbo? Because he potentially... No, because, you know, he has to continue his arbitration process. Mm. That fight gets ordered, he's in a great position as well, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know, at the moment, anti Joshua's fighting Alexander Usyk. That's, that's the situation. Okay. Last question, I spoke to Leonard Elby yesterday. Mm. I mentioned your name and he just said, fuck Eddie Hearn. Yeah, again. I, I couldn't really Did get much out of him. Yeah, and he said... He wouldn't work with any other TV networks. Mm. Is that a, does that affect boxing going long term? He, obviously, making he big wouldn't fights? work with any other. Yeah. yeah. Two words: rent free. Okay. I mean, 
when you have the ability to say my name to someone and turn their blood pressure up by 90%, you've got to be doing something right. Right, no worries, Eddie, I'm going to let you go.